Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here's your chance to make a game and have it be playable on a real physical LEGO store. The LEGO team has actually been working with DNT for quite a while now. I covered the LEGO microgame when that came out and they have kept updating it. And right now they have a contest running which is very interesting. The goal is to make a game focused on just one button. So that by itself is a pretty interesting limitation that will certainly lead to some very creative designs. Maybe just a single tap means jump, maybe a double tap means a special attack, maybe a hold means an special ability, or maybe one tap just means doing one thing, so a game like Flappy Bird or some of those block building games. So it seems quite limiting, but you can still do quite a lot of interesting ideas with that limitation. And the winner will actually be playable on real physical LEGO stores in a really nice arcade cabinet. And on top of that, there's even more prizes. You can win LEGO sets, a Unity Pro license, and $200 for the asset store. The contest ends in November, so you have a couple of weeks to build something really interesting. In total, there's three categories. You can make a game with the Ninjago theme. To help you with that, there's a free add-on with LEGO Ninjago assets. The other category is any theme of your choice. The only limitation is really no third-party IPs. And the final last category is build something solely with LEGO behavior breaks and no additional scripting. If you haven't tried the LEGO microgame, the behavior breaks are individual bricks where each does just a bit of simple logic. Like for example, one of them moves a platform left and right, another one fires bullets, another one looks at an object, and so on. When I checked out the LEGO microgame quite a while ago, that feature was definitely the most interesting part. So those are the three categories you can participate in. In order to open up the LEGO microgame, it's very simple. You just open up Unity Hub, then you go into create a new project. Now for this one, make sure you are using 2020.3 LTS. So if you have multiple versions, click on the arrow and select 2020.3. Then down here, just wait for it to load the list of all of the available templates. And when that happens, you should be able to see the LEGO microgame. So just select that, give it a name and head on create. And yep, here is the LEGO microgame. Now if you want, you can go through the microgame tutorials. These are pretty nice. It's a guided path showing you how Unity works and how this specific microgame works. So if you are a Unity beginner, I would definitely recommend you get started with those tutorials. Or even if you're a more advanced user, it can still be helpful to go through these to learn all of the specific things on this microgame, like the brick system, the behavior bricks, and so on. And in this project, there's also tons and tons of scenes. So lots of demos to see how everything works. For example, here is the sandbox scene. So just by itself, we can already see quite a lot of behaviors over here. So here's a really nice chat box saying a bunch of text. Then over here, you've got a button you can interact with. You can press it and do a bunch of things. And there you go, it spawns a nice little character. Then over there, a vertical platform. Then something you can touch to trigger some logic. Then something firing some bullets. Another elevator you can interact with. So as you can see, tons of things. And all of these, they are primarily working based on the behavior bricks. So I don't think there's any custom C sharp written in this scene at all. As you can see, just with those behavior breaks, you can already do quite a lot of things. Then there's a bunch more demo scenes with some interesting mini games. So in this one, there's a nice little Lego panda constantly firing some weapons and the weapons destroy the things. And I got to pick up these fruits. There you go. Lots of interesting interaction. So using the behavior breaks, essentially the bullets destroy the whole thing. Then they spawn that. So really nice. And on this one, by touching these platforms, you can move over there how the cannon rotates. And by going here, boom, you can fire a bullet and try to hit something. So again, this whole thing is all running just on these really interesting behavior bricks. Then there's a bunch more demo scenes and of course the unlike tutorial, which you can follow the guided tutorials. All right, so just by looking at these, you can already see how this micro game is actually quite capable of building tons of unique scenarios. The project includes tons of Lego bricks for you to use to build anything. So if you go inside prefabs, Lego models, and over here some brick collections. So there you go, tons of them. So then using the Lego system, you can click, you can grab one of these, then just connect them directly on that one, then grab this one, click on that one. So as you can see, this has a really nice building system. So very quickly, you can build some Legos, make something look really interesting. But on top of that, you can also import some even more custom objects. Lego has an official program called BrickLink Studio. In there, you can create your own objects using official LEGO bricks, so you can really build anything that you could build using real LEGO bricks. And then you can export that model and import it into Unity. There's a tutorial over here on Unity Learn showing you through the whole process. Okay, so that's the LEGO contest running right now. It ends in November, so you have a couple of weeks to build something really interesting. Pick a category, build something, and who knows, maybe you win and your game will be playable on a real LEGO store. That would be pretty exciting to go to your local Lego store and play your own game on a real nice arcade. 
It's definitely a very unique reward, so if you're interested, definitely go ahead and participate. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.